Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before we get started, I wanna go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911, or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799, I'm sorry, 800-799-7233, and for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800 950-NAMI, 800-950-6264, and you can also text at 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So today I want to talk about something just a little bit different. I want to talk about after you have done the healing and now you're ready to date again, um, and this could have be three years later after your bad relationship or abusive relationship so now you're ready so i just wrote down a few things that you need to remember so you don't get yourself back into another relationship that's abusive whether it's physical or mental uh, you know that um you've been through this so have the confidence that you know when someone is not who they say they are so uh, the first thing that I suggest is that you set boundaries for yourself. You make sure that uh, you know what you're not going to accept in a relationship and how you're going to be in a relationship. So you can't go into the relationship with lies. You can't be something that you're not. So make sure you be your true authentic self. Go in be honest and open and I would suggest to get to know the person before you start talking about the relationship that you was in previously. Um, you know, build the trust and earn the trust before you tell everything. Because sometimes when you tell a person about a relationship, um, they take notes and these are the toxic people. They take notes and then um, they use it against you. So make sure that you've earned the trust before you start talking about your previous relationship, you know, and um, get to know the person, you know, don't allow the way the person looks to uh, have a big part in it. So if this person is beautiful on the outside, see if the person is beautiful on the inside. So take your time to get to know this person because, you know, think about it. We've all been through stuff and we've all we all have a past so um you don't want to become a person in the relationship to where you're being um pretty much trying to heal the person make sure the person that you're in the relationship in the relationship with has also done the healing so you don't uh, want to be that type of person to try to heal the person because you know you can't, like I said, you can't fix a broken person. So make sure that you talk to this person, get to know who they are and keep it, keep in mind at the end of the day that you can't change anyone. You're both going to be in this relationship and you're coming together to compromise. It's like, uh, two puzzles coming together to fit, but you're not changing the way the other puzzle is and vice versa. So you're coming together to fit. And keep that in mind. If you keep that in mind, you won't uh, you won't go wrong. And also know that you're not gonna going to um, put your feelings aside. You know, um, you have to be mindful that other persons, other people have feelings, and that you have to respect it. But make sure that you get the respect that that you're due to. You know, don't go in a relationship putting yourself uh, on the back burner. Um, speak up for yourself. Know what you're not going to tolerate. And like I said at the beginning, set boundaries. You know, if this person is always putting you down um, in the beginning of the relationship and trying to change who you are and, and giving you suggestions that you didn't ask for, those are red flags, you know. Um, and be honest, just let the person know that this is not what I'm looking for. You know, if you have a voice in a relationship, you won't get lost in a relationship. And that's very important. A lot of uh, women go into the relationship and they just try to be everything that the man wants. And, you know, um, men do the same. There's a lot of men that go in a relationship 
and they try to do everything that this woman wants by buying her from, you know, buying her to making sure she's happy, but forgetting about who they are in the relationship. And then having a relationship like that can turn into resentment. So you want to go in and be honest, show the person what it is they don't know about you. Don't go in with lies, you know, even a small lie will damage the relationship toward the end. So go in being honest. Um, don't tell someone that you like something and you know that you don't because that's very important. You know, they need to know who you are and you need to know who they are. So uh, these are things that you want to be aware of, you know. And then also, uh, like I said, um, don't be afraid to... Um, be you, you know, everybody's not going to like you. So keep that in mind. So if you meet someone and they just don't like the person you are, um, that's okay. They're not meant for you. So, and it's not for you to try to change the person who you are. You know, um, I'll give you an example. Um, I don't smoke and I rarely drink. I drink on special occasions or I can go years without drinking, so it's not a big thing. But if you meet somebody that's into smoking, whether it's herbs or cigarettes or whatever the case may be, and you know that's something that you don't do, um, and this person is not going to change because this is something they enjoy doing, then why be into a relationship where you just can't put up with the uh, smell of smoke or whatever the case may be and you're still in this relationship because everything else about this person is okay, but they smoke and they drink a lot and they uh, smoke marijuana. They do things that you're just not into. And I'm not saying that it's bad, but that's just something you're not into. So why would you lower your standards to be with somebody because everything else in, about them you like. Uh, I'm sure that you can find someone that uh, doesn't do those things and have things about them that you like as well. But if you settle and you just sit there and you put up with it, it's going to turn into resentment. And then you're going to uh, be back into a relationship to where you're criticizing everything that this person does. So you don't want to get into... A situation like that be truthful and honest about what you want in a relationship and don't accept the little small things that may irritate you later just to be in a relationship it's okay to be alone and the most important thing don't go into a relationship because you're lonely that will never work uh, if you need someone just because you're lonely um, you're never being fulfilled. You're just, you say this relationship lasts for six months. You're out of that and you're back into another one because now you haven't given your time to heal and you're just not being true to yourself or true to that person. Get to know who you are. That's very important. Get to know who you are, what you like and how you can do things without somebody on your arm. Uh, it's the most uh, liberating feel liberating feeling in the world if you know that you just don't have to have someone stuck to you you know go, take yourself out to dinner go see a movie by yourself it's okay take a trip by yourself you'll be surprised the people that you may meet so it's okay to be alone never go into a relationship because you're lonely if you know someone that's um, trying to start a new relationship and just may uh, not know what signs to look for, please share this video. Remember to subscribe and like, and I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.